Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. My name is Brittany Page from The Page Perspective here on YouTube. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel over there. And if you're interested, you can also connect with me on social media, threads, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, at Brittany E. Page. I don't know how much longer I will continue to use Twitter with how broken that it, it now is because of Elon and when he took over and ruined it. But I don't know, what where are people going these days? What is the app? Seriously, can you tell me in the comments because I need to know what to do. So Ted Cruz made an appearance on Fox News recently to discuss his new book. And I wonder if you had to guess a few prospective titles of his book, and I gave you like, five chances. I gave you like five guesses. I really believe that you would be able to guess the title in five guesses. Okay, I'm gonna, you can think about what your guesses would be right now, but I'm gonna tell you what it is, so get ready. Unwoke, how to defeat cultural Marxism in America, right? I mean, you'd at least be able to guess some of those words, right? So in this appearance on Fox News, Ted is promoting his book. He's sitting for an interview with Howard Kurtz on the show Tight Shot on Fox. And in his book, he apparently has a chapter on the media where I assume we have a lot to learn from Ted. So in this clip I'm about to play for you, you're going to hear a nice little lecture from Ted about how CNN has declined over time, that Donald Trump broke them, and that they don't even attempt to appear fair and balanced. <laughs> yes, fair and balanced. And he's saying this on Fox News. Um, when I was first elected to the Senate, it was 2012, 11 years ago. At the time, look, journalists, Journalism has always been biased, but, but let's take CNN, and I focus a lot on CNN yeah. in this book. Try to give the appearance of fairness. And in 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, CNN reporters envisioned what they were doing as trying to be fair and even-handed. You'd have arguments. And now? And now, Trump broke them. They hate Trump so much. I don't believe they view their mission as let's be even handed, let's mm -hmm. have both sides on, let's be fair and objective. I think they view their mission is as propagandists. When they say we're here to save democracy, and by that they mean elect Democrats, <laughs> they're, they're no longer interested. You know, CNN now will have a panel of five, all of whom are there to discuss how horrible Donald Trump is. How remarkable is that, truly? The audacity to go on Fox News and talk about CNN being biased, refusing to be even handed, refusing to have both sides on, viewing their mission as propagandists. If you were here yesterday, you being the lovely folks watching or listening to this right now, you know that I talked at length about a CNN segment from Michael Smirconish on his show Smirconish over the weekend where he talked to an author of a New York Times op-ed for almost 10 minutes about how Trump is actually a moderate. They even had a Chiron up there. Is Trump actually a moderate? So you won't hear me right now defending CNN from Ted Cruz because I'm actually critical of how CNN, I think, does too much of the both sides nonsense. They go too far in attempting to even like appear as though they're being even handed to the point where they end up misinforming their viewers, I think. Pretending like there is a possibility that Trump is a moderate, for example. I mean, that's the most recent one and it's a pretty good one. The thing is with this Ted Cruz segment, the people listening to this, they don't actually watch CNN, they watch Fox News. So they don't know whether it's true that CNN has, as, Ted, as Ted Cruz said, a panel of, five people, all of whom he said, that are there to discuss how, t how horrible Trump is. They don't know about Scott Jennings. They don't know about David Urban. They don't know about Alyssa Farah Griffin. Those are Republicans, by the way. They don't know that CNN really does balance their panels by inviting Trump supporters to defend Trump on CNN. But the main point here is that Ted Cruz is on Fox News ranting about biased media outlets. 
This is the most <laughs> ridiculous thing. I mean, you have the, the serious, quote unquote, serious news people on Fox who have made it very clear that they are just dropping the facade, you know, because Fox has always claimed that they have their opinion side and they have their news side. These serious news people, they don't even try anymore. They're not even attempting this anymore. Just last month, one of those people who is supposed to be a serious news person, his name's John Roberts, he had to walk back claims that he made in the face of that car crash at Niagara Falls. I think it was last month. Fox was reporting this as terrorism when it turned out to just be a car crash, not terrorism. But the, you know, quote unquote, straight news person, definitely not an opinion person, John Roberts, said on air that it was unclear how long the people who per who perpetrated the attack, is what he said, had been in the U.S. He called it an attack. Had to walk it back. Then you also have Brett Baer. Brett Baer is another anchor who is supposed to be on the news side, not the opinion side. He's been photographed attending events at Mar-a-Lago. You also have Martha McCallum, another anchor who is supposed to be on the news side. But now when they're short on opinion shows, she'll head over there and reinforce whatever conservative talking points they have for the day. And if you aren't a person who follows the news closely, you wouldn't know all of this. And Lord knows I would happily exchange all of my knowledge of these various media personalities for the ability to, I don't know, calculate a tip without crying. I, <laughs> but an appearance from Ted Cruz would not be complete without him promoting his podcast. I do a podcast every week, Verdict with Ted Cruz. Today's podcast does a deep dive as to why this bill is completely dead right now. And the reason is... <laughs> You know what? I hear you, buddy. It really is tough. It is tough out here trying to grow an audience. You got to take that promotion anywhere you can. And we know that Ted Cruz is not going to stop talking about his podcast. By the way, I think he said he's been a senator for 11 years. Oof. It's too long. That's too long. Colin Allred, hopefully he can take care of that. And then he will really need subscribers for his podcast. What do you think? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below.